Get ready! Well, hey there, welcome to my house of cards. My name's Helene. Today, we are taking part in the second part of the first deck quest. This time, again, we're going with Crusadia OTK. If you want to see uh, what exactly this deck is, how it works, and stuff like that, you can check out the deck profile. Uh, link in the description below. But for now, since this is part two, we're going to go into the casual server on Edo Pro have five matches and we'll just see how we do. Let's hope we do well. Alright, first duel against Kraus. I don't really have a joke to make about that. Um, okay, we're going second, that's good. This deck wants to go... Oh no... <laughs> oh... Oh, it's Eldritch. Uh, would that be hard? I, I don't think it would be. Unless they do get out the golden... Lo oh. Oh. Okay, so uh, this might be a problem. Um, we have the field spell. We have the, the cards that are supposed to protect our link monsters. A kaiju and slumber and also imperm i'm i'm just gonna set this i i can't <laughs> this is not going well for showing off what this deck can do uh let's just hope that next turn they do just something and i can i can summon just a monster let's hope we can do that what's this Unpossessed? Is this... Is this Charmer Eldlich? Oh, that's a lot. Oh, okay. Wait, why would you summon... Wouldn't it make more sense to summon... Oh, there he is. Unpossessed. Charmer monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. Familiar possessed control attacks bonus monster. Gains 800 attack during damage calculation only. Should be about card effect, just, 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 just push some spell cast for your your deck, his attribute is different. Now it's Nightmare Phoenix? What? Uh, yes, I'm gonna chain Imperm. I'll negate this, and I put it in this column, so, um, I think it negates the Eldland. Still, what is, what is happening? It's like, I know Synchro Eldlich is a thing. But I've, I've never heard of, of Charmer Eldlich. Um. This is gonna hurt. I, I'm supposed to be the one dealing big damage. If I could get, like. Hina the Fire. Ch is. This is Charmer Eldlich? Uh. That's a new one. I. What? Celine? This, this, this is, this, I do not know what is happening. What is, exa what exactly is supposed to be the synergy between Charmers and Eldlich? I, <laughs> I have no idea. I don't think their traps have grave effects. Wait, what? Access code? But you could have punched for more damage, couldn't you? It's like 35s. It would have been like 50. 350? You could have done 50 more attack with, with with a Golden Lord and Selene, but you make you dump them both for access code talker? What is going on? I can't remember what this does. Okay, so that's what that does. But you can't get the bonus thing. It's okay, I still have uh, 50 more life points than I would have had if he kept the other monsters. I can confidently say I've never heard of this variation of Eldlich before, so it's at least neat. Okay, well, it's not really going to do him much good. Uh, 
At the very least, I can use Kaiju Slumber now. So that's something. And if all else fails, I can just tribute the Axis. That might help. Uh... Slumber. I think you can destroy this card effects. Yeah, it doesn't have any protection, it's just it's purely destructive. Um... I'll get Thunder King, and you can get Kamungus. Um, here. And Kamungus can go here. Alright, um... And what? Special Summon 1 Spellcast for 1500 defense from your deck. Okay, so we can summon a non-dark? Well, Dark the Dark Charmer doesn't really have anything, if I remember correct. What is this now? Now this- you're just chaining everything. Eldritch Chain. I like to call him the Pimp Zombie, but now he's doing the actual Golden Chain. Ah, oh, no! Whatever! I can finally do the thing! So we have this. And since you have a Kaiju, I can summon Jizakiru. Use the effect of Magius. Because I don't, I don't think you have any disruption aside from the Graveyard Banish. Uh, no. So, I'll... Uh, I'll get... Draco, because then I can get Maximus back from the grave. I have the field spell, so I'm kind of wondering if I want to get all of the. I think I'll. I think that's what I'll do. Summon this. Special summon. Now I can use Regulex effect and the effect of Draco. Please don't use Conquistador. I think it's Conquistador. Joaquero. And he used Joaquero. Um, I can't really. I can't really do anything about that. I can at least get Aquamax, which isn't half bad, but... Um, oh, I need Aquamax. I can at least get Testament. So that's something. I should be able to still just wipe the field. Then it can use Revival. No, I don't want to do that. Activate. No, not yet. Battle phase. Okay, so now Equimax can attack everything. And at 4,900, like, he's easy. <laughs> no. It's so weird having him attack trap cards. I'll uh, use Testament uh, on my turn. No, not yet. Or on this last attack. Now we can do it. No. Now in the damage step, we can activate Testament. This has two effects. Uh, if I destroy something by battle, I can draw cards equal to the link rating. So main phase two, uh, this negates the effect of a card. Um, if I had Leonis, I could have done, I, pro I might have been able to OTK there, but um, I'm gonna just summon Leonis. And World Crown. Alright, so we're taking back the tempo of the game. Now we can negate a face-up card and one uh, monster that was summoned from the extra deck. Fairy Tail Rochka. What is this? Have your opponent gain 500 life points, so then they look at the top three cards of your deck and choose one for you to add to your hand. Um... Yes, I will negate that. Because I don't want you gaining more advantage. I, I don't like that. The fairy tales are really cute. Like, they're, ju they're just so adorable. And they have a weird synergy with charmers, because, like, the charmers also have 1850 for... What? Oh. Oh, he sends from... Fi I've never played Eldritch... I mean, I have, but I, I don't remember exactly how it works. 
Okay, what's that do? Uh, destroy one face of card on the field. I'm still stronger. I still have the bigger golden dude. What you gonna do about that? Okay, I guess you could do that. I can I can still summon Leonis, which will then get it up to 37. So we're, we should still be fine, and I can still attack everything. I still have power to protect uh, from this thing. Nah. So I think we are still good. Because so I can use power to protect this from Conquistador. And then use the field spell to attack everything. Oh. Alright, second round of the first duel. Am I going sec- oh. Oh dear. We're being forced to go first. Uh, this is, um... This isn't good. I mean, we, we might be able to do something. Special some of this. Um, this is a neat thing. Like, since they can trigger on summon to a link zone, you can chain block. Yeah, all right, we'll get Arboria back. Because then, uh, since we normal summoned her, we can still special summon her. And I will take... I want a Draco for, for next turn. Uh, then use these two to turn to Regulex. Uh, special summon Arborea so we can protect Equimax on the following turn. Please don't ah, ah. No, that won't do anything. What? Uh, oh! I didn't know she could do that! <laughs> Alright, cool. Um... We'll use power just to keep it safe from Golden Lord, because, um, okay, yeah, we'll use this in order to put Equimax on field. I wish I could put something more, but I don't have anything, so I'm just going to have to set power and hope he sticks. This might, have, this might not have been a very good idea. Rochka? Um, no, that's fine. All right, I got 500 life points. That's no oh, I don't know what the synergy is here. Uh, but the area, just because it's not Eldland, that that's probably that's probably the smartest move. Please don't have Eldland. Oh, oh, that's a that's a lot of acro. I do not like this. I still have power, so that's fine. Use Cyclone on this. Don't chain it. Ah, he chained it. Uh, I don't have anything else. Oh, there's... That's the annoying thing about I, 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 I sighted in the Cosmic Cyclone to deal with all of these stupid traps, because I think if you banish them, they can't really do anything. But they just have all of them. It's kind of stupid. Ah, what? Oh, they chain blocked me. Oh. Okay, I think I know... I... Th this is... This is a problem. Um. I can't really do anything. If I had another Kaiju or another Crusadia, I, I might have been able to do something there. But. I can't. Uh, that's kind of that's kind of a problem. That's the problem with this deck. We can we can reach our win condition pretty easily, but uh, if, if we're if we're stopped, it's kind of a uh, th this is gonna hurt. No, I don't want to get hurt by this thing. It's so cute. No, I don't want to use DD Crow. Uh, uh,
No, I don't want to use it. When Golden Lord gets in the grave, then we can use it. Does it banish cards? Yeah, one card. I'd rather use it on, on Golden Lord when he gets put in the grave, because they, they seem to like to Link Summon quite a bit. So maybe they'll send him to the grave. Oh? Oh. Uh, no, actually, I'm, I'm fine with that, because we have a Link Zone. We can summon Draco 2, summon this. Um... We might be able to salvage this. That, that, the Conquistador, that's a problem. Unless we contribute Albalit. We might have to tribute that one first. If we can do that, then we, we should be fine. No, I don't want to. Maybe I should, just... <laughs> but I don't know what's been banished there, so it's... Okay. Go. So I'm at here. You gonna do something? Okay. Special summon. Use its effect. Uh, I, I, I only had Maximus in there? That's strange. I thought for sure I had more. Ah, c Dragma? Really? Really? Okay, this is, a. Uh... Yeah, I don't have anything I can use to extend. We do have Parallel Exceed, but that requires us to, to summon a Link monster, so, um... Uh, I'm just gonna surrender and we'll move on to the third game. Uh, I'm going second. Might not be. I, I'll, all I did was swap out the four mud skipper for an extra DD crow because. Oh, please don't. Oh. I don't like this. I'm worried right now, so I'm just gonna try and trigger something. This feels like defusing a live bomb because it's just like. I know you got something. There it is. Okay, I guess I I guess I hit the wrong card. That's disappointing. Um Maximus. Are they just going to chain a bunch of stuff and immediately pop him? There it is. What do you send? Hita? Where are your fu I guess you did have Hita. Um, I have literally nothing else. This is a... No, I don't want to use DD Crow. I don't have any reason to. Can you banish this? Banish the card from your grave. We can at least keep him from getting advantage. So we can get rid of that. And that's one less card for them. It's not great, but we don't really have much of an option right now. Oh. Why would you do that? What was the actual point of doing that? Was it just... Did you just put another Eldlixir thing in the grave? I didn't see what else they sent. Yeah, I think they did. All right. I'm gonna bait that. Just cause I'm pretty sure I can get full combo here. Yeah, that's it, summon it. And here we go. Okay, we can do stuff now. Normal summon. We can totally go off right now. And now we can use the effect of Parallel Exceed, we can summon it to a linked zone and summon a second copy from the deck, we'll chain... Oh. 
Oh, come on! I, I was finally about to go off, and you, you just give up. All right, fine. All right, we got one victory. This is game two. Go on second. Yo, this is a second game against Zippy Zap Brannigan. I uh, and they're playing Vylons. That's interesting. Um, I don't know what to expect from Vylons. I think like. Because, like, they didn't do Omega Turbo, so that's at least something. But we got, we got, like, just the best, we, we got just the best hand right now. Uh, no. Summon so here. Use Magius. Use the effect to parallel. Using its effect. Oh, dang it. What? Oh. All right, well, we won't count that one. All right, real second duel versus Zabi Maro, Zabi Maru? Is that like some kind of Rue made by uh, Renji's sword from Bleach? We're not going first, are we? We're going first. Uh, this, this is a problem. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do, so let's just summon this. Special summon. And we don't really have the best hand, so... Let's just get something for next turn. Well, we might be able to... If we get Draco... Um... Okay, uh, we'll, 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 Pfft. not sure, might be able to go into Avermax. Yes, use this effect to get, I kind of want to get power. Uh, so we'll get power. This deck is not particularly great going first. Oh, we can't get Avra. I I messed that up. Um, that was stupid. We'll just we'll just get Equimax and hope it lasts. That's that, that's fine by me. I wonder what I wonder I wonder what they're playing. Because again, this is a going second deck. We don't really have a good option going first. Haha! -ha! You fell for it. Now Equimax is immune to cards. And although he does only have 2,000 attack unless you summon something to him, which I, I doubt. Oh, invoked. Um... That... Might be a problem. Alistair? What does that do? Uh, Alistair, you have a grave, monster, summon, control monster, discard a card, and if you'd add one invocation or book of the law. Okay. Oh. It's a light monster. That's not good. What are you gonna do? Mind control. Adding another invocation? I mean, I guess it's not once per turn. So you could do it if you want. If he summons a second mecha, but we might be in trouble. Instant fusion? What are you getting? Millennium? A thousand eyes are strict. You can't take him. He's immune to card effects for the turn. Now you're using Link Cross, but it's not a tuner. If you summon like, I don't know, a uh, sea monster of Theseus, because uh, I think that's a level five, you could have at least made like Dawn Dragster. That would have been a neat play. 
But now you're... Oh. He's just gonna go into Dragoon, isn't he? Wait, what? You used Invocation again? A second Mechaba! Alright, as long as they don't have another spell, at the very least... Uh, what? Okay, now I'm just confused. It seems like you wanted to go first. Why, why didn't you go first? It seems like you could have just done that, and it would have been fine. I'm very confused by your... <laughs> like, you had two negates on board, and then you just turn it into... VFD? What are you- what are you playing? Invoke Dragoon? This is- what is happening? But I- I do have this, so... I think I'm fine, because I can just destroy him. Nah, I'm fine. I can just- I can just tribute your Dragoon. And then hit you with Kaiju Slumber! What? Ah, oh, come on! That, that, that stops it? Okay, well, um, I'm probably doomed. Like, it, it was going, I thought I had him. I thought I had him there, because I, I could have distributed the Dragoon. And then, there's Alistair. I mean, he did add back to Tan, so that's fine. But also, like, you had two negates in the form of Mechaba, and you just turned him into Calamity. All right. 68. Okay. Yeah. I lost this one. I lost this round, at least. All right. Second game of the second duel. Or second duel of the second game. I chose to go second, because obviously... I swapped out some cards for Ash Blossoms just because, I don't know, I feel I feel like if you put in stuff like VFD and Mechaba and Dragoon in a casual server, it's like you're, it's like you're deliberately trying to, oh, just set one pass? Kind of wary of what that might be. Um, please don't be like, no, this would get under trouble. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm kind of worried. Use the effect of exceed. Summon. Use the effects. Got a chain block. So even if they do have an ash in hand. Alright, cool. And I will use this to get Draco. We'll turn these into a Tornado Dragon. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Alright. We'll use Tornado Dragon to pop the face down. Please don't be waking the dragon or something stupid. No, it's just Imperm. Well, that's fine. Um, I sent Arborian to the grave so I can, I can get Regulax. And, alright. Um, special summon. Use its effect. Get Arborea. Then we can make Regulax. Summon Arborea. Use his effect. And they just gave up! And it's now the third game of the second duel. And they're making us go first again, of course they are. Um, just normal summon. Don't tell me you have... I don't know what I could possibly be waiting on for them. I think we might be able to get Ararax, but I don't really... 
I'm not sure if I want to do that. Maybe I could make like Appaloosa or something, but I don't know. That one, that one does, that does, does, that doesn't seem as fun. Valor. Uh, okay. Use this. Power is is very useful to have. You need power to do things. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. I still I still get this. Now the question is, do I want to summon Do I want to summon some kind of rank 4? Cuz I still have Draco in hand. I could use that to get back Leonis. Use those to go into Regulax and then use those to go into Equimax. Which would then get me Avermax. Uh, What's this do? Cards on the field opponent cannot target this card. Card effects cannot target this monster for attack except this one. Once per battle. Target the card with card effects. I think everything they did last time with card effects. So I think that... I think that might be what we do. So let's use these to go into Emerald. And then we can use this. Get Leonis back. Um. What? Two plus effect monsters, it should? Oh. I see. I, I skipped ahead. I'm supposed to get Regulax. And then summon Leonis. Which will then... Let me get... Power. Maybe I should have gotten Testament, because then next turn, uh, hopefully I could've... Could've swung with one. Then, uh... Activate. Just attach. Shuffle. Now shuffle those. Shuffle this, this, this. Shuffle these back into the deck, and then draw one. This is why I summoned Digesto. Alright, um, that's not too bad. Let's use these. Go into Avra. And set power. It's not a very great board, but again, this is a go second, you know, knockout strategy. It's, it's, we're not really supposed to. Uh, no. So, Avermax can't be targeted, I think. Link summon, your opponent cannot target this card in card effects. And if it battles, it's just self-honest. Which is interesting. I'm glad this got a reprint, because before it was like $30, and it was like, no, no way, that's ridiculous. And it's like, it's a really good monster. The only problem is that I think, what? What are you doing with that now? Huh? Reborn the monster! Are you going to summon it to this zone? I'm... Pretty sure I still have the ability to destroy you. Cause like, doesn't this, uh, once per battle, during damage calculation. Battle's a special summon monster. So yeah, it should be fine. Except that, um... This might be a problem, actually. Like, free monster reborn. Really? Okay. Sure. Because, like, it would still gain that attack. So, it wouldn't even matter. Ugh. No, because I have literally no reason to activate it. 
I lost to my own monster. That's... <sighs> no, because... I'm pretty sure it would just... Gain the attack points in retaliation. That's that's what I was worried about. Wait, they discarded Nibiru? What? Why didn't you use Nibiru on my turn? Like, and now they're just summoning Verte Anaconda. Great, so unless I have a, a kaiju, even if I do have a kaiju, I really can't do anything because they're just going to cheese out Dragoon. I really hate this card. It's not even, like, due to its own fault, just because... Yeah, the second I try to do anything, they're just going to negate it and then get bigger. And I don't really have uh, any kind of removal, so... Uh, I guess I'm done here. Alright, now on to the third duel against Rusty's. The, uh... A Cars reference for some reason. Not the good Cars, but like the, the Disney movie Cars. I wonder if they're playing Via Croids. That'd be, that'd be fitting. Alright, Extrav. I wonder what they I wonder what's in there. I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that second game didn't go very well. Mostly just because Man, I just Dragoon is a giant pain. It's it's pretty much just because uh Red Eyes Fusion is legal. If Red Eyes Fusion uh didn't exist or was at least banned, like Dragoon wouldn't be such a pain, because then you couldn't cheat it out as easily. Just feels really cheap to put stuff like that in your deck like VFD and Dragoon and all that and play play with that stuff in a casual server like I'm sure the deck they are playing wasn't incredible and they're playing unchained that's interesting they wait they just summoned Rakia um all right, I'm a little. I pro. I don't really want to use Reclusia, so I also in this. Use it for Magius. Yes, use the effect of Exceed. You gonna do something? No, it's fine. Uh, Wailing of the Unchained Soul. The thing about Unchained is that everything they have just says that if it's destroyed, you can summon an Unchained from the deck. Alright, we're just gonna chain this stuff. Chain against Unchained. Wait, what? Uh, okay, I guess that does trigger upon destruction, which is... I guess they chained that to the summon of this, and then I used this, then, no way, I summon this, and then this, what is happening? This is chain link four, considering that your deck is called unchained, you're sure doing a lot of chaining. Are you going to let me do something now? I would appreciate it. They're probably going to destroy Magius, which is going to be a problem. I have Draco in hand, so I got this. That was certainly an interesting exchange. You're deciding, uh... You're deciding what to, to pop? What, I think that's what this does. I just send this card from your hand. Discard one card, destroy one card in the field. Uh, no. I can't really do anything. If he destroys Magius, we're gonna be in trouble. Because then I think they could just... Go into the, the Link monster. Which is bad news for us. Because, like, they, they would be able to steal our things. We could at least summon to the zone they point to, which wouldn't, wouldn't be that bad. 
Who are you picking? My my guess would be Magius. Yep. All right. Um. I'm I'm starting to regret not just summoning Thunder King. If I summoned Thunder King over it, it would have been a lot easier. Um. Uh. Okay. Uh, uh, that's the, this is a problem. If I don't get rid of this, they can just take my monster and link summon. Oh wait, I know no a Castell shuffle. Does this shuffle to hand into the deck? Okay, that's a little that's a little worse. I thought maybe I could like um. Summon a kaiju with using one of these, and then summon Castell, spin it back to my hand, and then s sack it for the other one. Then I would be stuck in the situation where they'd have a kaiju. That would not be good. Um, I don't know what to do here, so... We're, we're just gonna have to stall. Uh, this, it's for reasons like this why I put in Baguska, because it's just a really solid, like, I need to buy me some time, things are not going well. If they summon one of the big unchained Link monsters, we might be in trouble. Because I think the Link 3 can still take it, and then summon the, the really big dude. Which would then just be able to wreck everything. So that... But we, we have the Kaiju, so if we can get to next turn... We should be fine. Yeah, I'm kind of interested in Unchained. I kind of want to make a, a, a deck for them. If anyone's still watching by this point, you'd be interested in seeing me try to... And there's... I don't think you can do that. Right? Because it's negated. Does it activate? In defense position... Also negate the activated effects. Is that activated? It is! You have been brought down by the terribly tired taper. I love this card. It's it looks so dumb. But like it's a surprisingly useful little floodgate. What you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, Unchained Man? Unchained Man, take me to the like. How's that one song go? It's like Ocean Man. Uh oh. Okay, they're just ending their turn. Okay. Uh, we have to, we have to send one to the grave. So, okay. But um, uh, we should be good. Ah, I should have. I should have put Baguska to attack position. That's my fault, because then we could have crashed into it, so that would be... That would have been neat. Or we could have kept him and put the link... I... I just... I'm just screwing up all over the place. Alright, so... Um... Now we want to keep Draco. So summon Leonis. Use that for Magius. Yes. Activate. No. I don't want to destroy your stuff, because if you do, you will get more things. And I don't like you having things. You having things is very bad for me. And, oh, they might have something. Please don't have something. <laughs> please. Can, can you not? Pretty please. Well, you got an Ash Blossom, you got, um... Okay, no, we're, we're still good. Uh, using that, we can get Arborea. Special Summon. Regulex. And... We can get Leonis. 
Okay, that's a problem. I can't do anything about that. Oh, this stinks. No, oh, just gonna put it in defense position. Oh, well, at least it's huge. So that's that's something. Um, I can't do anything. Oh, right, because the kaiju was really big. I guess that you put it into the 600 defense points. Sure. You know, uh, I've heard some people actually... I can't remember if I side in Nibiru now, actually. I, you can't use Nibiru um, in Crusadias because the Link Monsters only gain attack points equal to the original attack of what they point to. So you can't really do that. Because the token has no original attack. Why wouldn't you rather go into C Cerberus? This is... I'm just going to tribute. Alright, uh, summon Arborea. We can, we can, please, and they surrendered. Of course they did. All right, this is a uh, uh, game three. We're going second. That's nice. You know, I, I would normally I'd be fine with the kaiju slumber, but considering we're going against Unchained, that might be a problem. And they just popped one of their own cards. Uh, yes, this is why I cited in Ash Blossom. I don't want you getting your dudes. I don't want you getting your big doggos. They can stay in the deck. Okay! Not okay! <laughs> um, I th actually, I think I might be fine. I have an idea. Hopefully this will work. I'm destroying it by effect. What could you possibly have wrong about that? And of course there's the Ash Blossom. I can't really do much about that, so I'll just set these two. Um, the problem, the problem that we have is that we can very easily get to our win con if we just have like two Crusadia monsters. But when we only have one, and we only have one kaiju, then it's kind of a problem. It's kind of weird how Ash Blossom can negate a field wipe, like kaiju slumber. That's it, that's it, come on, come on, give me the nostalgia playing like one of the old Yu-Gi-Oh video games. Well, not nostalgia, but it's a ha, reflect down. <laughs> You never see that happen anymore. You never see people take reflect damage, which is fun. Okay, now we can do stuff. What's this? Oh, that can work. All right, gonna use this. If they have an Ash Blossom, this will at least negate that. Don't know what else they could be wanting to do. No, we're good. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna add Jizakiru. This is why running multiple kaiju is really cool in this deck. Check this out. All right, so first I will give them Dogaran. Then I will special summon, which will trigger Magius. Please don't negate this. Like, don't don't do something stupid like Ghost Ogre. I would very much appreciate it if you if you stopped doing this. All right. Um. We'll get Maximus. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We can use these to go into Regulax. 
Special summon. Use Regulax effect. We'll use him to get... I freaking swear, if you just have Nibiru, and there's the Nibiru, it's always, it's just, it's, it's always Nibiru. At least his, 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 I'm gonna get Testament, because we really need to uh, just attack stuff. I think I might be able to do something. Oh, I think I might be able to do something here. But would I rather do it now? I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna take the risk. Yeah, you forgot I haven't normal summoned. Wait a second. Two effect monsters. Don't, don't talk to me. Just don't, don't talk to me. Very roundabout spell negation. <laughs> but whatever. No. Ocean Man. Like, he could at least swing over Magius. But I still have the big token, so that's... Why? They're equal! You can't destroy it! Well, that was... a thing. We're gonna special summon Regulix. Yep. Activate. Activate. Gonna pop the Nibiru. Yep. Now use Arborea to save it from being destroyed. We'll grab Draco. And now we can finally get to the thing. Special summon. Special summon. Use Regulax effect. Use the effect of Draco to get Maximus. No, I don't want to. And we'll use that to get power. I think this actually protects my links from Nibiru. Switch this to attack position. Let's see if there their face down's a threat, like at all. Nope. Okay, we're almost there. Use these two to get Aquamax. Then we'll summon Maximus so we have a negate. Alright! We should have this one in the bag, as long as we... We should be able to win this. Yep, there we go. Not yet. Is it... Does this destroy for cost? Nope. Alrighty then. Maximus. Use his effect. He lets that Crusadia Link deal double battle damage. I would have brought it up earlier because it's the main way we OTK, but we don't do that, so... Um... Activate. I think this just destroys as an effect. Yeah, it targets as cost, so if I... Man, this is like, what, the second uh, chain four? Nah, I'm, I'm fine. And they surrendered! Okay! All right, duel four against... Um, 
Two upward pointing arrows. It's a very interesting name. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And they just set one card and pass. Uh, it'd be nice if they put someone like one monster. He tree face up. Okay. Uh, but looks like for the most part we should be fine. This deck works much better when they actually summon monsters. When they just set one card, it's kind of like, uh, I don't really... I can, I can do stuff, but it's not, it's not quite as interesting. Uh, we'll use this to get Maximus. Then you get this. Use Regulex's effect. To grab... We'll grab power. Because I have a feeling we won't be able to do any yeah, OTKs this turn. Summon Aquamax. Summon this. This only has monsters. That has only monsters. Um... But we can get World Crown. So they... They have a lot. Attack. Nope. Alright, main phase two. I'm just gonna set this. Alright, so we got uh, two negations. And they gave up! Okay. Uh, we, uh... We lost connection there. So, um, you know what? I've been going at this for a while. I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to count that as a win because I'm pretty sure we, we, pro we probably would have won anyway. And I, I don't know. All right. This is uh, the fifth and final match against Chrono Diver. I hope they're playing Time Thieves because that's the, that's the Japanese name. And they are. They're playing Time Thieves. I hope they're playing the new support that came out. That's cool. Winder and Digester. There it is. Yeah, I like Time Thieves. I think they're a neat deck. They just... They need a lot more to work as well as they can. And they haven't gotten it yet. Adjuster's nice, though. But yeah, I decided I decided to count the um, fourth duel just because... Alright, so they can negate one spell trap. That's neat. And they go into Bujinkia Hashima. I actually use that as a attack in my Time Thief. And okay, I, I it's been a while since I played Time Thief, so I I probably should realize that yeah, I can do that. They're just chaining so much. They go into Redoer, and then they summon another thingy. Okay, so for, this is a really cool thing that I think Time Thieves could have a lot of potential because just from uh, Regulator and one other level four in their hand. Look at this, they got a Link monster. They got uh, Perpetua. They got, they got all three Xyz monsters on field and they have their counter trap from one regulator and one level 4 monster. And you now this one can negate the effect of an effect monster on field. Negate a spell trap. This is cool! I'm really- this is awesome! This is really awesome! They're... Glad Time Thieves got that support. I know, I love how good Time Thieves are now. Now if only we could search Regulator. Look at all this. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, this is cool. They got all this from one regulator and, and one other level four monster. And they got all three of their Xyz monsters 
plus an extra level four and a Hashima. This is awesome. I I really I really admire this. Oh right, because you can bounce. We're gonna have to be quick about that. And they hit us with that. Oh. Uh, we might still be able to do something. Alright, I think we... We might be able to still do something. If that face down is like a solemn, we might be in trouble. I don't think it's a solemn. Yes, use this card's effect. Okay. Use this effect. This effect. Ah, double barrel. Take control of one face of monster, remote controls until the end phase. Oh, that's not good. I forgot double barrel does that. This might be a problem. If we get to keep Magius, we might be able to do something. Oh, they took parallel and negated this. Well, that's fine. I have another one. <laughs> All right, got Regulex. Summon. Use his effect. Uh, no. In order to get, we need to draw more cards. So this one's this one's fine. And then we will summon Equimax. And I should probably get rid of Perpetua. Ah. Dang it, that's not good. All right. Um, the very least I can get rid of, I can get rid of her. Because then I can draw some cards. Damage Calc, and draw three. I'm sorry for doing this. Cause this is a cool board. Like, I props to you. Um, I'll take the Thunder Strike and you can get Kamungus. Thunder here. You see, that's why I think Time Thieves have really neat potential. Because, like, they can, like, recur and stuff. That was a very admirable board, though. Props to you. I should revisit Time Thieves soon. Cause this is like, this is genuinely impressive. I, I'm gonna have to like save this replay. Um, no. I'm gonna, I wanna save this replay just so I can look at this deck. Cause this is cool. Like I, I always thought time thieves were a neat concept cause it was like just rank four spam with really neat uh, monsters. Namely Redoer, cause uh, this guy is cool. But it's just like, uh, they didn't have anything that could let them extend a whole lot, or even a real starter outside of Regulator. And the only way you could search Regulator was with Rewinder, and Rewinder needed to be summoned, and then you couldn't use Regulator. Um, yes. I will negate your effects at least. I'm glad the final duel is against a really neat deck like this. This is this is awesome. I, I'm actually really liking this one. Uh, they can overlay those two. Oh yeah, they they went for Perpetua. Last time I tried building TT was redoer. 
deck out. The, the idea I had was that I would just, like, summon three redoers and just continuously steal the opponent's stuff until they couldn't draw anything. It worked, like, once. It worked only once, but it was cool. I'll have 300 life points left. If I can get Parallel Exceed going, I might have something. Man, I've been recording for a while. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll be the next deck quest. Time Thieves. Time Thieves uh, 2021. Because honestly, if they can get their stuff going, they can make a lot of cool stuff like this. Oh, that puts it on top of the deck. Okay. Yeah, we should be... Oh, but I can't summon it because they have a kaiju. They already have a kaiju, so I can't summon it to there. And they're gonna go for a trap card. If you're gonna bring back Double Barrel, that's interesting. I like that, because, like, Perpetual can put a trap card for Double Barrel, which has some, um, uh, utility. I'm gonna get Slumber. Just, just to search an extra one. Just, just cause. I don't think I, it'll matter. I think it's cool. Um. Radian. We might still be able to do something, because uh, unless... Because, like, even uh, Retrograde. Oh, no. Oh, no! No! Oh! Oh, that's not good. No! <laughs> This is why I think Time Thieves are cool. Like they can just keep like keep extending and interrupting and they can do cool stuff. All right, uh, I don't have many other options. Thunder King. Don't you have to detach to do something? Detach one material. We've had target one other exceeds changes. Okay, so that's not, she doesn't need material for that. I need to get rid of Perpetua. I don't, wait. Okay, so that would kill me. Um, let's get rid of Double Barrel. And I, I can't do anything. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is such a cool deck. I like this. I like this a lot. This deck is really, really cool. I'm very impressed. Time thieves, man, they can they can do they can do some cool stuff. And yeah, alright. I'm fine. I'm fine losing here. Alright, this is the second duel in the final, final round. I swapped out some stuff for Ash Blossom, which didn't appear in my hand. Because I know, like, the, the one way you really stop Time Thieves is just big. Oh. Okay, that's another cool thing a Jester does. Like, she foolishes, um... Time Thief cards, so you can use her to, like, restock uh, Double Barrel or just the Xyz monsters. This is, this is, this is kind of, um, like, if you can get the stuff going, you can do a lot of cool stuff, like, last round. 
But if you don't get regulator, eh, just doesn't really work. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, just gonna do the normal combo. Unless they have something waiting for us. I'm a little concerned now. I was worried about that. Yeah. Gotta what? Oh, wait. Uh, yes. Activate. Activate. I get that back to my hand. Were there two in grave? Uh, no. And then my Maximus. Gotta watch for Kaijus. They're still really sh strong removal. Alright, is these. For Regulex. I'm very concerned. I used to play Pure Crusadia. I liked 8 in my main deck. Activate Regulex. Activate this. Because we have Arborea in the grave. So, yes. And it was just retrograde. Okay, um, we already have Testament, so we'll get power, just in case we can't kill her this turn. Kill them. Knock them out, whatever. Summon this one. Ah, you got me with that, except I just got power! No. That's fine. And we're safe! Alright, we can finally get just everything hopefully attack this thing how much damage can we punch for that wasn't enough <laughs> but we can at least draw three cards Nah, you did well. Uh, we don't really have much else we can do. Um, I'm just going to end my turn. I need to save this replay so I can check out your deck. That's weird, though. I thought for sure that would have done it, because... I don't know what just happened. Like, it should... Shouldn't it have? Wait. Yeah, why didn't that work? I, I didn't? Oops. Okay, so that's my fault. Uh, I was... <laughs> I, I feel so deflating now. <laughs> uh, yes. Just use this. You can just negate a face-up card, which is very useful. Alright, you, you can get rid of him, that's fine. Still gonna win though. Please let me get the hit and everyone else gave up. 
Special summon. He's gonna get Maximus. Uh, just normal summon. Activate. So he can do more damage. And now we're going to actually use Crazy Box. Just because we can. Oh, don't worry, I will. Here we go! Go! Ninety six hundred! <laughs> that was what I was looking for! Alright, we still have one round left. Found it. Slammed. Alright, this is the tiebreaker duel! Crap, we have to go first. Please don't ask Monster. Okay. Ah! <laughs> I. Time Thieves don't have a lot of spells and traps, so. Just. Set. It's just set to pass. <laughs> the game Three Brick is real. Valor. Okay. Almirage. Oh, you maybe. Yeah, there we go. Parallel exceed. If I can imperm that. Yes. Imperm. To make sure you don't get your your extra thing. We at least have Kaijus. If we can get one Crusadia, we should be fine. I've been recording for a very long... There it is! Alright. Right, Magius. Um, target one monster you control can't your opponent's card effects this turn. Summon. Summon. Use its effect. Come on. Um, Draco. I'm gonna use this, go on to Regulex. This. Use this. And Draco. Get Arborea. And there it is. Um, if we activate this, I'm pretty sure Regulex can't be destroyed. Imperm? Well, we don't have any... Don't have any response to that, so... We should... We might be able to give us these... How much... How high is our defense? Okay. Um... We don't have anything else. Those Kaijus are really coming in clutch when they bring down Nibiru. Because, like, they have decently high defense. To the point where even Nibiru can't swing over it. That's pretty cool. Alright. Let's let's do this again. We can do this. I I think they summoned it here because they, they know. They know that Equimax can't get any attack from it. Alright, we'll get Draco. Get Regulex. Summon Draco. That's a fact. It's a fact. 
Get, I don't have Maximus in the grave. Um, Leonis, I guess. Maybe I should have gotten power. I don't know. It's the last duel I've been here for, for a while. I meant to get power. Crud. All right, um. Summon Aquamax, and I'm really, I'm going more for draw power right now. Uh, no. Um. What can I say? Okay. No. After damage calculation. Thank you for letting me draw three cards. All right, main phase two. Uh, what do I have left? Okay. I might still be able to do something, possibly, perhaps. Turn that and... Um, I'll special summon this. Uh, yes. This. Um, pop the Nibiru. No. And yes. And I got nothing else. Maybe I should have summoned Avermax or something. This, really though, this is a really cool deck. I keep saying that because it's just it's just neat. Terrifying. I feel like if Time Thieves ever get like a search spell that just says add a add a Time Thief monster to hand, they could they could really just they could really just go nuts. All right, let's just let's 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 just do things. Let's just do things. Some of this use its effect. Summon another one. Special summon. Get tornado. I don't know what you got back there. It's just retrograde. Okay. Special summon. Activate. GG. Ooh. Just, 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 wow. Okay. I don't think, can other monsters attack? Also, other monsters you control cannot attack. Okay. So they've got one more turn. Uh, I don't really have anything else. I guess I'll just set this and pass. But yeah, like that first turn board, that was really impressive. They had a bunch of disruptions. They just kept recurring everything. GG. All right, so it looks like their deck, I, I really wanted to check this out. It looks like their deck is just uh, extravagance for draw power. Yeah, it looks like it's mostly just all the time thieves, some hand traps, and just like, it's a pretty, you know, basic deck list, but I mean, that was really cool. Just seeing the potential they can have now that they've got a uh, adjuster, that was really neat. I wonder what else they have in here. Omega, probably to make use of Gamma. Um, three Redoer, as it should be. Two Double Barrel. Giant Hand. 
Yeah, this deck was cool. I'm glad this was the last one we went against. Alright, so that was uh, part two of the Crusadia OTK deck quest that went a little bit longer than I'd hoped it would. Um, really? Uh, so, what, I'm having to check the record. What was it? So we went, uh, let's see. We won the first one. We lost the second. We went four out of five uh, with most of those just being like, uh, please shout out victories. So that did actually, you know, decently better than I thought. Next time we'll be going through the competitive server, seeing how we get. Uh, hopefully we uh, won't, hopefully I won't mess up as badly next time. But anyway, if you watched this far, thank you very much. If you got any suggestions for decks you'd like to see me try to build on a future episode, uh, please let me know in the comments. But for now, thank you for visiting my house of cards. And uh, that's it, bye.